Hi everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. This is a Pisces reading for all signs, sun, moon, rising and Venus signs and also cross watchers as well. Thank you all for watching and thank you to all my lovely subscribers. I'm truly grateful for all the support that you show this channel. I salute the divinity in you. Thank you. Much love and light to you all. So let's jump into your reading. We've got messages from the Romance Angels to outline your reading. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You deserve love. You are lovable. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, we also got messages from the ro from the Oracle deck for further angelic guidance. We've got look for a sign. We've got abundance and peaceful resolution. Lovely. So let's get some tarot to tap into the energies surrounding your current situation. So do remember energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. There's no gender in tarot, it's all just energies. So please take the messages as it resonates for you and your situation. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune. We've got Eight of Swords and the Magician. So that's clarified with Seven of Wands. We've got the Empress, Libra, Taurus, Energy. We've got Two of Swords, further clarified. The Ace of Wands. Six of Cups and Six of Wands. Okay. Right. So, Empress in Reverse. So uh, I can clearly see that this reading shows a situation for those of you who are in separation from your soulmates. We've got separation here, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Yeah, the Empress in reverse. Yeah, so... Uh, I could see here that um, you may have turned your back on this uh, situation here with your soulmate. So, um, yeah, it's causing a lot of stress here for your soulmate at this time. I could see your person is, um, yeah, they're, they're all up in their head. Eight of Swords. Two of Swords. Maybe they have air in their chart. You could be dealing with an Aries. I mean, sorry, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But um, yeah, you've got this person up in their head. It's causing um a level of stress for your person at this time because uh. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, your person wants to be with you. I mean, we've got Ace of Wands here. We've got Ace of Wands. I mean, your person wants a passionate new beginning here. Yeah, they want to work things out. Your person wants to work things out. I feel like, yeah, they, I mean, Six of Cups as well in reverse. I feel like this person's stuck on you. And they really want to um, bring amend the, the past, you know, bring some healing to this uh, situation here. And, you know, maybe you guys can just come together and work things out, you know, forgive and forget. This is what this person wants. I feel like this person really wants to uh, just leave the, this cycle, this negative cycle that you guys are in leave it in the past and yeah move on in a you know more positive 
in a more positive way because I feel like this person here I feel like your person really wants to be with you here I mean it would be an absolute victory it would be success victory and success it would mean a lot for your person at this time you've got six of wands here we got the magician it's like this person is really trying to manifest their dreams here they're really trying to manifest their dreams so yeah i feel like you, you, your soulmate wants to work things out they really do you've got to express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture yeah there's a lot of love in this situation there is a lot of love in this situation. I feel like maybe you turn your back on this person, on your person, because they wasn't expressing their love. And you know you deserve love. We got you deserve love here. You are lovable. So you know what you're worth. And maybe this person just wasn't, you know, clearly wasn't giving you what you deserve, what you feel you deserve. So you turn your back on this situation. So I feel like this person has learned, learned their mis from their mistakes here. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, you know, bad luck, karma, learning from the past, you know, breaking negative cycles here. Yeah, I feel like they have learned. I feel like they've learned their mistakes. They've realised by not expressing their love to you, for you, to you, is actually um, making this connection suffer. Yeah, this person, they just can't get away from... They can't get away from this connection. It's it's a strong, it's a strong, powerful connection you have here with your soulmate. Because they're just stuck in their head. It's like you have this person just thinking about you all the time. I think it's I mean this is a this is a sort of um I don't know, it just feels like I mean, I don't know, it's like, this connection is just so powerful, it's so strong, like, people around this person cannot understand why they are so passionate towards you, you know, Ace of Wands here, Seven of Wands, Six of Wands, there's a lot of passionate energy here, fire energy. You could be dealing with a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. But people around this person, they just can't understand. Because I feel like seven of wands in reverse, six of wands in reverse. This person feels really, like, challenged. Maybe they get they get a lot of criticism from others around them, you know. Like, this is someone that just feels overwhelmed by external factors. I feel like in this situation, this this could mean, this could indicate that this, this is someone that doesn't have much support from people around them when it comes to this connection here. With you, because it's so challenging... People just don't understand. This is why I feel six of ones, this came out in reverse. Because I feel like this is someone, because this, in reverse, this indicates a private achievement, you know, keeping it to yourself. This is like a personal victory where you don't really want to share it with everyone. It's not really public knowledge. Keeping it private, it's a personal victory, you know. Yeah. 
This is what I'm saying. I don't feel like this person gets much support. So I feel like they're trying to come up with a way to have this new beginning with you. Like in secret. Without, you know, making it public knowledge. Well, at least to the people around them anyway. Because maybe they don't get much support. So they just want to keep it private, keep it secret. Because, um, yeah, there's a lack of understanding. I'm getting, I'm hearing lack of understanding. I feel like they may have people around them that has a lack of understanding on why this person feels the way they do towards you. Maybe this person themselves, that maybe they don't even understand. <laughs> they don't understand why. Because clearly you turn your back on this situation. It's a, it just looks like you're not interested. Maybe you're not. Take it how it resonates, but that's how it looks. I mean, if you are interested in this, in your soulmate, then it looks like you're not interested. I mean, you're not giving this person the green light. So to everybody else, it just looks like this person is just wasting their time. You know, however, this person, it's like the feelings, they're going off the base on their intuition here and their feelings and the love that they have for you is just keeping this person, you know, attached to you here. There's a strong emotional and passionate connection, attachment this person has. There's a lot of chemistry here. Ace of Wands, it just says it all, there's a lot of chemistry here. So, um, this is what keeps your person holding on. People around them just can't understand it because you just look like you're not bothered. You're just focused on yourself. The Empress in Reverse is all about self-healing, self-love. Some of you are on your journey, on your path of self-love, so... And that's priority right about now because you know you're lovable. You know you deserve love, you know. So it's all about self-love. But I really feel like this person here, I feel like this person would really love if you would give them a sign or something, give them the green light. I mean, they're just stuck trying to decide what to do here because they really want to, like, have this passionate new beginning with you. Yeah, it leads me to this message here. We've got lot for a sign. I feel like this person is like waiting for you, hoping that you would give them a sign, a green light here. With this Ace of Wands. Yeah, because it says look for a sign. That message came out. Your person may be hoping that you would give them a sign because as much as they can feel the connection, but I feel like they just need some kind of confirmation or something. <laughs> I don't know. It says, uh, your angels have a very special and specific answer to your question. You can expect to see signs right away that will have deep meaning to you. Yeah. Signs require focused attention, so be awake to the possibilities. Don't mistake synchronistic events for mere coincidences at this time. They are a message especially designed for you. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, your person is waiting for you to give them a sign, give them a green light, some indication that, you know, you would want to hear from them, you want to work on it i don't know i feel like that's what it is here because with the magician in reverse i feel like you know your person wants to make things happen here but they just don't know what action to take this is why they're stuck in their head they don't know what action to take and uh, as much as they feel it they feel the connection but they're just scared to act on it 
they're scared to act on it just in case they're wrong you know i feel like this person's scared that they're they're wrong about this because I mean, it's all, it must be all new to this person, clearly. This is, this is something that this person is not used to. Yeah, we've got love yourself first. Self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, this is something, this is something this person is not used to. Dealing with someone that is just, you know, on this path of self-love and self-healing. You're really putting yourself first here. And, you know, however, yeah, this is someone, they're not used to that. This kind of love. So they're just not sure. They're not sure. They feel it, but they're just scared to, to act on it. They're scared to act on it. I feel like, yeah, seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person, they, they realise they're going to have to um, figure it out because there's a lack of progress here. This person feels like as much as they are invested in this situation, then they're just not getting the success that they are looking for. Yeah, we've got the hangman and we've got the knight of wands, more fire energy. This person is very passionate towards you. Wow. There's a lot of chemistry here. Yeah, some of you might be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But there is a lot of fire and passion in this connection here. Yeah, this person is really inspired here. They're really inspired. Yeah, because I feel like... Like I said, this person was waiting for a sign or something... They were in this energy of waiting and watching and hoping that you'll give them a sign, you know. But this came out in reverse. I feel like this person realises that, um, yeah, they may need to um, change their approach, you know. Figure out an approach real quick before they actually lose out altogether. I feel like this person is, they may fear, you know, like losing out here. This is why they may, if they do approach you, they may do it in secret. You know, they may just, just you know, love themselves first. Listen to their own intuition here. Yeah, this is what I feel. I feel like, because something's got to give. I feel like this is, this is uh, why you're not giving this person the green light or anything because I feel like the lesson here is for this person to really trust their intuition I mean this is a soulmate spiritual connection so it's all about intuition and being divinely guided by your own inner wisdom not listening to people seven of ones in reverse let your guard down and just create your own personal success here private achievement yeah because um something's got to give i feel like this person knows that something's got to give now they they may have taken the wrong approach before and you know things is just not working going according to to plan they're not getting a the success they're struggling to see progress here in this connection with you. So they may just uh, do what they got to do. Despite what other people may say or think. They may have to just act on how they feel and hope for the best. You know? And I feel like if they do that, it will lead to peaceful resolution. Yeah, and abundance yeah beautiful yeah i'm just gonna leave it right there i mean it's all about following your intuition here so i feel like this is what your person's gonna do with this knight of wands energy they're gonna come in hot yeah it's all about following your passions here so they're just gonna um yeah follow their own inner guidance and their passion for you 
So good luck with this, guys. I'll see you soon. <laughs>